section uh, today we are going to teach you about algebraic expression and the subtopic is on the fine or the zeros of an algebraic expression in this lesson we will look at the zeros and the values for which an algebraic expression is on the fine let's say when we do algebraic let us let us begin with the zeros of an algebraic expression or a function an algebraic expression is zero for values of the variable for which the expression is zero. To find to find the zeros of an algebraic expression, we see the expression or the denominator of the algebraic fraction fraction to zero and solve the resulting equation for the value of the variable. Okay. Find the zeros of the algebraic expression 3x minus 12. 3x minus 12. If they say find the, find the um, zeros of the algebraic expression 3x minus 12, what you do is that you equate the expression to 0 and find x after that down with this result. Is that so here are examples of some algebraic expression. Some algebraic expression if you have to find the, if you have to make it undefined. Examples. So that here we have x raised to the power two minus six c six. So you if you say make it undefined, you equate it to zero. So that is that. So let's go to the other the other paper. Over here we have two minus x all over x plus three. That one is a fraction. So when you when you get to fractions and it's this, they tell you that make it undefined. What you do is that you create the numerator to what to zero, which is which means the top one, the top numbers at the top. You create that one to zero. So me what I say is that if I'm talking, you listen to me very very well. You are going to understand whatever concept that I'm teaching you. So please. Pay attention very well. Don't skip this video. Pay attention very well. Please support this. So with a, with a two minus x all over x plus two, what to do is that you make the two, the two minus x, at the top the denominator and you equate it to zero. Then you get two minus x is equal to zero. X is equal to two. That is the answer. Over here, two minus x. Let me show you guys. Here it is. 2 minus x is equal to 0, so x is equal to 2. So that is that. So let's go to the next chapter and see another example so that we can, we can solve. We did the next chapter, so we have another one. That one, it contains a lot of, um, a lot of um, variables and numbers. Okay. Very guys to see very well. Okay. Bracket four minus three x bracket bracket close open bracket x minus one bracket close all over bracket bracket x plus two bracket close bracket open nine minus two x bracket close. So when it comes to fractions like this, what you do is that you equate the numerator is what the top one to what to zero to get the what to find the what the undefined which we say we are making a number um a fraction we are making an algebra expression undefined that means what we are finding there were the zeros of the algebra expression so what you you, you want to find the number that when you put inside the equation you get zero the equation all the equation return to zero so that is what we are finding so please listen very well to what i'm saying to understand this concept so so we have three concepts we have um this the linear one the linear one and we have the comp the less complex linear one then the more complex linear one so that's what i'm explaining to you guys okay so down here we have solvents of the equations and all those things so that is that and let's see let's see okay Conditions for which an algebraic expression is undefined. 
an algebraic expression is undefined for values of the variable for which the denominator is zero. For example, the following fractions are undefined. So and we, when it comes to fraction key, fraction key, when you say an algebraic another fraction key is undefined, that's when we have what? We have eight over ten, nineteen over over zero, nine negative nine over zero. Is because the numbers are divided by zero, yes. So when when we say undefined, it means what zero. Undefined in anything it means zero. So that is that. We determine the conditions under which an undefined expression is undefined. We equate the denominator to zero and solve the resulting equation for the values of the variable. Find the values of the variable for which the algebra expression is undefined. For for the expression two minus x all over x plus three to be undefined, we equate the denominator to zero to zero and solve for the value of of x. So I'm coming guys. Okay, so with this one too, another condition. The condition. What, what the condition means is that, for if you have this thing, and if you have a fraction, and when you check the top and the down, and you find out that within the down part of this thing, when you when you when you equate it to zero, you get a negative number. The next means what? You can use that number because it's not it's no more than zero or it's equal to zero. The answer must be equal to zero or it can still be more than zero. So that is that. But if you check the two answers and you don't have anything like that, then you take the word to the top part. So with this one, that is the conditions for algebra, whether algebra expression is undefined. That's, that's the condition. That's the only condition. So you check, you do what? You check whether the words uh, with the down part. If you check and you, you can get a negative number, then you use the down part. But if you don't get the down part, if you don't get a negative number or you don't get zero, then you use the word the top part. So please listen. If you don't, if you didn't hear what I said, just rewind and listen to what I just said. And understand it very well, okay. So, thank you. So, you, you guys can read this expression over here, and yeah, you don't, people watch my my channel as smart people, so they will understand what I just say. So, okay, please listen very well, okay. So, that is that. There's an example over here. So you guys, let me zoom in for you guys to try your hands out. You see brackets open x minus four brackets close brackets x and bracket brackets x minus five brackets close all over brackets open nine minus x brackets close brackets x plus five brackets close. So you check the condition says that what you check whether if the down part will give you what. Um, a negative number or zero. If it doesn't give you that one, then you can take you can choose the numerator with formula. So that is that. Okay. So we have another example over here, which is that what x raised to the power two plus eight all over x raised to the power two minus nine. So try your hands on it. So to the summary, in this lesson, we have learned about the conditions under which an algebra expression is zero or undefined. An, an algebra expression is zero when a value of the variable Q max x is zero. To find the value at which the expression is zero, we equate the expression or the numerator to zero and solve for the value of the variable. An algebra expression is undefined when a value of the variable gives Q the denominator. To find the value at which an expression is undefined, we equate the denominator to zero and solve for the value of the variable. So that is that, guys. So bye bye, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Let's make this channel a very big channel and let's move on. Okay, bye.